Hello friends, how are you? I hope you are doing all right. Today in this video we are going to create the awesome hero section of the Pinecone website. This is what we are going to create. I know it looks simple, but it has a lot of things you can learn from. Okay, I have already created a folder and opened it on VS Code. Now let's install Pinecone by running the command pip install Pinecone. I have already installed it so it may not take time for me but it might take some time for you. After it installed, just do PC in it to generate the boilerplate code. Now it generates a bunch of files and folder. Clone.py is basically where we write Python code. But it may have a different name on your system, based on your folder name. Assets is just where we keep images, you can keep other things too. And if you don't know JavaScript or React, you don't have to know about .web folder for now, but basically, you write Python code and it converts that code to React to JavaScript framework and it is basically the code that runs when you do PC run. As you can see it uses Chakra UI for designing, but you don't have to know about that if you don't know JavaScript. Okay now let's do PC run to see what we got. It may take a lot of time to install JavaScript dependencies, but for only one time. Now after it installed dependencies, it run on localhost 3000. See we got a new node modules folder, but don't do the mistake of opening it, just kidding open it and see what you got. Now let's see what we got on the localhost. We got a basic simple heading and some links. Now let's redesign it create an amazing hero section. Let's start with creating this navbar. Go to the folder and create a new file. You can name it whatever you want, but I am naming it navbar.py. Now let's start by importing Pinecone. Now let's create a function named navbar. Box is just a container component that can be used to group other components. Stack means everything components you write inside it will be stacked horizontally meaning if you know CSS, it's just like flex row. You can find everything in the documentation. It's a good habit to see documentation. VStack means vertical stack meaning flex column. You can import images using PC. Images and write heading using PC heading. For images, just keep them at assets folder and use slash to use them. For input, do pc.input and you can pass different props like width, placeholder. See all the things at documentation. For links, you can do pc.links and pass ref props. Now it's just some CSS to the top H stack. Some padding and justify content space between and borders, you should know the basic CSS if you want to create websites. Now it's just CSS to the top PC.box. Basically with 100%, top 0 pixel and position fixed. 
Now let's import navbar to the main file and see what we get. I know it doesn't look same, but we will get it. And for logo and images, you can just pass the image link. Now let's create our main section. Clear all the unnecessary boilerplate code. Remember VStack means vertical stack meaning navbar and headings will be vertically aligned, just like we wanted. They are just some H1 tags meaning headings with font size of 4M. Now if they don't have the components you want, you can just write HTML inside it using pc.html. I did this because I wanted to make the text gradient using style property. Now for normal text, you can do pc.text and style it the way you want like changing the color, font size. And we want the input field and button horizontally, so we are using hstack. And for stacks, you can pass spacing too like how much you want the gap between them. Now padding top 10% is the padding to the pc.center component at the top. I feel like we are done, let's see what we got. We are done creating what we wanted. Now let's host it. Search Versal CLI on the search bar. Copy the installing Versal CLI command. And paste it on the command line. It may take time to install so in the meantime go to Vercel.com. And sign up for free. You can use GitHub, Google or email. I already have an account so I am just gonna log in, but signing up is very easy. After signing up, you will see the empty dashboard, I have some projects already so I have my dashboard full. It is taking long time that expected. After it installed right Versa login. I am not gonna do that. I already am login in the CLI, but you will have to do Versa login and sign up in the CLI too. After you login, just write Versal, but don't forget to cd to dot web folder. That is the folder we are going to deploy.
Select what I am selecting for now. And wait for some time. That is the file index.js we are deploying right now. See it even has the things we wrote and images links we used. And voila, your app is deployed. Now you can use that URL to share it with your friends. Done. That's it. It's that easy to create web apps and deploy using Python. Thank you for today. I will see you on the other video. Please please a subscribe from you will make me very happy. Please 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 like the video and subscribe the channel. I would be very grateful to you and if you have any errors and questions, ask me in the comment, I would reply that even after 10 years of this video publishing, 